Okay, if you end up enjoying the video, please do subscribe. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before next year. Now, for the runes, um, you it's either you go Summonary or you go Guardian, which in Guardian lands, you only go Guardian into like matchups where you've like Draven, Lucian, or any all-in sort of early game ADC, and you have a scaling ADC. That's when you take Guardian. So I'm going to show you just that rune page because that's the game we're playing today. So obviously we take Guardian. Fawn to life because we've got a lot of ways to impair someone's movement speeds. And then bone plating just because it's the best rune there is. Then if they have a lot of CC, go on flinching. Otherwise, take revitalize. Um, I went I went on flinching this game. And then biscuit delivery because we're playing Nami. So it's a bit of a sustain game. So because we just want to take small trades and then look to heal up with a W. That's how you play every healing support. So that's what you do. So you need the extra mana for that. Then go cosmic insight because... Honestly, that's just a really nice rune. And then AP, AP, and armor. And then for the build, what you want to go is Spell Thieves, just because it's so much faster than Relic Shield to get your gold. Then Lucidity Boots, because they're the best. Uh, play Steel Caps if they got a lot of AD. Otherwise, super AP heavy or CC heavy, Merc Treads. Now, you pretty much go Imperial Mandate every game, but if you need the extra engage and you don't have much of an engage champion, Shrelias for sure. If you need the extra peel... Moonstone, very nice to have, but otherwise Imperial Mandate is probably the best pick. Um, then after that, it's if they have a lot of healing, go Chem Tank. If they have a lot of area effect damage, Redemption, if they got more a lot of CC, Mikhail's Blessing, just so that your AD carry doesn't have to buy the QSS like right away. And if you need even more peel, start for the Flowing Water. And Uncense is really good with scaling ADCs like Vayne and stuff, so that you can boost their, um, what do you call it? You can boost their attack speed and just make them like freaking insane anyway and then finish off with watchful wardstone so the way we want to play this lane is pretty much like give up the first couple of levels just because it's it's draven like draven is super freaking strong so we won't really be able to contest wave too much so but since we have a twitch and we'll end up out scaling we just like look to give the wave play around our jungler let him let her just carry and sort of gank around and just if she's on the top side, don't do anything stupid on the bot side and just sort of give wave until we get to the late game. Alright. So, the way both lands are sort of looking to play this, obviously because it's Senna and Nami, we're both sort of looking to just like poke each other out a bit and look to play the sustain game. But since they've got Draven, they like really want to just go all ham in. So we want to give the wave, which is fine. They can shove it into us, and then we don't lose, we don't die. So that's good. Literally, like it's fine if we lose a couple CS here and there, just so long as we're not dying. Oh, good thing. Alright, that's not actually a terrible trade. Like, Twitch still has a potion, and I can just look to heal him up like crazy, so that's good. Um, when you're versing Draven, make sure when, when he autos, look to throw your bubble on his... What's it called? His little thingies. So... What, what do you call it? So when he autos and he, like walks on the, his stacks, then look to place your bubble on that, because if you bubble him, then you'll you'll end up winning the lane. I think we can actually really win this. Damn. I think that's worth, though, in the end. Oh my god, he's so low, though. Come on, let's go in. Oh, god damn. That's alright, that's alright though. I mean, now we're winning the lane, and we can look to shove it in. If they stay... Excuse me. If they stay, their jungler is topside, so that's really good. And if they look to stay, we just look to kill them under the tower. Yeah, nah, it's a bit risky. Alright, so Victor's shoving this wave. Viger's gonna reset. 
like he, he's probably gonna look just shove in this wave and look to reset as well and I want to look to kind of maybe get a kill here just see what happens oh Damn it. That's so sad though. Okay, thank god. Sweet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, nice spam. Um, so the wave's gonna shove back to us. And then I can look to just roam around. Now, our engage isn't the best, so I will be going Shirelius this game. I don't usually go Shirelia's usually, I, I just go uh, Imperial Mandate or Moonstone, but because our engage isn't too good, we'll go Shirelia's. Alright, so the wave was shoving to us, which it still is, so I'm just going to look to go roam. That was so bad, what? Alright, cool. Oh, yes, wait, what, why does he want to fight you on the tower? That's so dumb. Yeah, they're so low, too. Bazinga. I'm actually kind of really poning on this. No way! Oh well, at least we get his flash, so... Support 14... Thirty. Uh, they didn't. Oh, they did take inspiration, so it's probably just support fourteen. Cause flash five minute cooldown, but inspiration thirty seconds, and then yeah. So 40, 14 minutes instead. I'll give him solo plates. You always want to give your ADC solo plates, cause honestly, gold isn't the greatest thing on supports. So anyway, we just placed Herald mid lane. That's really good. We got first tower. That's awesome. And we got mid tower because mid tower is the most important tower in the game. It makes us put deeper vision here. So then we see if they're moving top side or bot side, which is really awesome. And like for neutral objectives, it just makes it easier to get control over them because then like they don't have this point of protection. So like walking in here is a bit easier. Like, whereas if the tower was here, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, this, there's like a wall, and the middle is missing, which is more important than the sides, and so like, you know? Anyway. But yeah, no, my point is, always get mid tower first, then take the outers, then look to grab like the second, uh, towers slash wall, if you get what I mean. Alrighty, dragon in 30 seconds, so I want to quickly get in here, play some deep vision, and try remove their vision, and then force them to walk into a blind. Uh, can you please not go topside? Because if, if I, pretty much if I remove their vision, then they have to walk, like, obviously they walk into a blind, and then we can look to, like, m get a pick, and then they, sh like, if we get a pick, then they should definitely give dragon, and if they don't, then it's like, okay, awesome. We get to take a 4v5 and win. See? Like that. Yeah, good job. Thank you, Victor. You're a perfect example. God damn. That's unfortunate. We didn't kill. I tried my best to peel. Nice. Oh! Frick! It's my bad. Oh, Victor went Dark Harvest. Okay, interesting. Nice. Oh. oh, they FF'd. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, I will be doing a new NAMI guide soon as well because Imperial Mandate is getting buffed, which is awesome. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.